So of course, Live Pass is back for season eight and we're kicking things off with an 89 overall Donovan Mitchell in the premium path and a 91 overall Luka Doncic in that Live Pass MVP section. I'm gonna go through exactly how you can go through the Live Pass and get all the points you need to get all of the masters as well as what you need to do in order to get yourself the ultimate store masters as well. And depending on what month you're in at the moment, of course, you can use all of these tips to help yourself out in getting the Live Pass masters themselves. Let's take a look at the life pass itself. As you'll notice, if you go into the limited time event, you got three sections running along the top. The very first section is this life pass MVP. This is going to be to try and get yourself Luka Doncic. You do, of course, need to purchase the life pass MVP or the life pass premium by spending real money in the store over here. You can see all of the prices. They will change depending on where you are in the world and what currency you are using at the moment. But you can spend money to unlock those two paths. If you are normally spent, you'll be going along this standard life pass over here. It does still give you some fairly good rewards, including stamina, coins, players and of course NBA cash it will also give you these live tickets which I'll go into a little bit later on and that will help you out with the ultimate store now of course in the standard life pass you do get yourself a guaranteed boost item and for November it is going to be a rebounding boost item of course depending on what month you are watching this it could change depending on the month so make sure you keep an eye out on that of course there is no way of really telling until someone actually posts it on discord or someone gets it already but for the first month it is going to be that rebounding boost as confirmed by rising phoenix one on the official ea discord server you'll notice the grandmaster for the life pass normal one is going to be this 84 overall brandon ingram underneath this one is going to be the premium life pass you'll get yourself some more live tickets stamina cash coins players all of that good stuff halfway through you'll get yourself an 85 overall victor Wembanyama, who's looking absolutely crazy over there and you'll notice you will get yourself an extra boosted court and a boosted jersey now again for the month of november Remember, the court is going to give out an athleticism boost and the jersey is going to give out a post offensive boost so that is going to be very useful over there if you have spent the money to go ahead and go through that you will get yourself the 89 overall donovan mitchell at the end of that pass and then the mvp pass you're getting very similar stuff as you go through this an 87 overall devon booker about halfway through that one you will also get yourself the boosted court and jersey as well you'll get some elite players and then finally you'll go all the way and get yourself that 91 overall luka don but to get through all three of those passes you need to get yourself live pass points and the way you can do that is by going through your daily objectives these are going to reset every single day and each one is going to give you 10 of these points we will go through every single one bit by bit so the first one is going to be to log in once today now you have to log in into the game go out of the app and log back in it's basically logging in twice as it were to get yourself the objective done i don't know why that is the case but that is how that objective works the one underneath that is to win three live events that can be in any limited time event it can be on the live today map as it's taken me over there you just need to win three of them and that will get you another 10 live points over there the next one is to win a showdown match go into showdown you can play either with your multi-year lineup or you can play with a season eight lineup as it's showing up over there either one just get the win and you will get yourself another 10 of the points the one underneath that is to win a season's quarter this is very easy to do you can just hit play auto play and you should be getting the win you can see i will have a massive overall advantage between my opponent because season mode isn't too difficult at all and it's really easy to get one quarter win that will only cost you 10 stamina and it is just simply auto playing the quarter you can play it of course if you want to shouldn't take up too much time the one underneath that is to win an arena match now depending on where you are in the world you may or may not have a viable server but what i suggest you do is go into the arena section and just try it out and see whether you can actually play you can use past season lineups you can use a current season lineup it doesn't really matter you're going ahead and pressing play you need to get the win and that will get you another 10 of those life points the ones underneath those are simply to get yourself some different sort of stat lines within any game mode so two three pointers two blocks two dunks or layups you can do that in season showdown live today events limited time events any of that stuff you're in an in-game situation you can get those done and that will get you another 10 on every single one of those objectives and you also notice this with all of these objectives you're getting nba cash which is really really useful in the game itself you can use that on packs you can use that and getting through a little bit further in certain promos so that is definitely a bonus when it comes to doing these objectives you'll notice the very last one is to complete all these daily objectives i'm not entirely sure whether it does count the first two i'm guessing it does which are just simply completing offers for cash and then watching videos if it doesn't count those two then of course it's really easy to do all of them because you just 
just need to do all of the ones as I've mentioned earlier. And in total, through those objectives themselves, you're getting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 of those life points, and then 90 if you complete all of them down at the bottom. So that is going to be very useful as you go through day by day because the life pass are out for a total of a month. So you've got the whole month of November or whatever month you're watching this video in, you have a whole month in order to get yourself all the way through these milestones and get up to 3,000 of the points because you notice all those life passes, the standard one, premium one and MVP one all end at 3000 points. So that's all you need to get up to to get yourself any of the masters. If you buy the premium one and the MVP one, you get up to 3000 points. You're going to get yourself Doncic, Donovan Mitchell, and of course the 84 overall Brandon Ingram at the end of the standard one. You should get all three of them. I believe that is how that one works. Of course, you don't have to buy any of them. It's entirely up to you as to whether you spend your money or not. Let's take a look at the store though, because there is a couple of extra ways in which you can get some extra points. And that is through a couple of coin packs. You'll notice on the right hand side over here, you can buy two of them every single day. Each one is going to cost you 5k coins or you can watch an advert and you should be able to get 10 life points with every single pack that will reset every single day. So make sure you're doing that one to just get a little bit further throughout those milestones as you go ahead and try and get yourself the masters from the life pass. You'll notice the one to the left of that is spending through your live tickets. So 30 live tickets will get you 100 life points over there. I don't really recommend you do this one because there are better things you can spend your life tickets on however if you are say just a hundred or a couple hundred away from getting yourself the life pass master whether it be the standard premium or the mvp one and you just need that little bit of extra points you can by all means go ahead and spend it to ensure you get yourself the masters at the end of it there are two locked offers for me because of course i haven't purchased the live pass over here but if you do purchase either of the live passes i believe both of those should become unlocked that's an easy way of getting some extra life points if you have got the nba cash and you are willing to spend the money but now let's take a look at the ultimate store itself this is where you're getting slightly higher overall players as you can see it goes from a 93 overall Allen Iverson all the way up to a 99 overall Wilt Chamberlain over there who's got 98 rebounding stats for both offensive and defensive right at the end of that one in this mode you're going to need to collect yourself those live tickets and then spend them on any of the offers to the right hand side you can see there are four offers over here each one costing 300 tickets there's these ones which cost 30 tickets each and there are three offers in each one so you can buy it three times in total say for the coins one i can get myself a total of 450,000 coins for just 90 of those live tickets same with the stamina credits and xp the ones to the right of that you have to actually go ahead and buy the life pass you'll notice it gives you those requirements as to what you need to do in either to unlock these rewards the first ones are just the same offers as these ones just simply being one-time offers and costing half the price in tickets so you will basically get va better value for that if you do decide to go ahead and buy the life pass and get up to milestone 15. the one to the right of that is just simply for some extra players some trade up tokens all of that stuff for those live tickets over there now with the live tickets there are a bunch of different ways in which you can get them the first one being through the live pass itself even the standard one does give out these 30 live ticket tokens in batches so you can see at 200 you'll get yourself 30 live tickets you'll see at 700 points you'll get yourself another 30 and it goes on bit by bit one at 1400 points another one at 2100 points and then finally at 2800 points that will get you another set of live ticket tokens in total if i've added that up correctly that's 150 live tickets from that alone buying this premium pass you will get another 180 on that second milestone and you can see with the mvp pass it's exactly the same stuff you'll get another 180 on top of the stuff from the standard pass if you get up to that second milestone over there that's going to be one of the main ways in order to get those live tickets of course you can go ahead in the store and purchase some more with some of the other offers if you do go ahead and buy the live pass plus or the live pass mvp plus you do get yourself some extra tickets you can see the one on the left is going to give me 100 live tickets the next one is going to give me 200 live tickets but those are going to cost a little bit more than just buying that passes on their own you'll notice at the very beginning of the month you can of course go ahead and spend 100k coins to get 30 life tickets now you can only do this twice and it is only doable once throughout the entirety of the month i do recommend you do this if you have got the coins because you can easily make those coins back because say i've gone ahead and purchased both of those each one is going to cost me 100k 
coins. So that's 200k coins spent. If I've gone over here to these offers over here and I purchased two of these, which I can do now, I'll make 300k coins. That's a 100k profit. However, you could only do that once. You are making only 100k coins. So it's not a massive amount of coins, but it is definitely useful. You can see you can purchase some more live tickets for actual money. And that is pretty much it when it comes to life tickets. Now, the Ultimate Store itself is out for roughly three or four months. There's no set time on this. It could last a little bit longer, but generally in the past, it's anywhere between three and four months. Usually it's about four months or so, but again, there is no set timer with any of the ultimate store. So whilst the life pass does reset monthly, the ultimate store won't reset every single month. So you will hold on to your live tickets as you roll over between months. However, after say four months or so, going into the next month, those will reset. So make sure you're keeping an eye out on all of the ultimate store stuff. You're trying to get as far as possible. As I said, there is no set timer with any of this stuff. The live pass, however, does reset monthly. So whatever progress you have made, in the life pass you can see at the moment i'm at 190 life pass points once the month ends i will go back down to zero so that's something that you definitely have to take into consideration with the live pass and the ultimate store they kind of work off each other a little bit with you getting live tickets from the actual life pass itself which then feeds into that ultimate store in helping you get through these milestones in order to get yourself up to that 99 overall will chamberlain and you can by all means buy any of these guys on the auction house you'll notice if you search up players above 86 overall the only players that actually come up are these live pass players you can see alan iverson is already on the auction house so you can always buy them on the auction house if you have got the coins you'll notice some of them are going for quite a few coins and alan iverson there at 23.7 million that's what he's going to cost on the auction house as of the time as recording. Of course, throughout the month and throughout the length of time the Ultimate Store is out for, those prices will slowly drop bit by bit as more and more people do get those cards. But that's another way you could potentially get them if you are normally spent and you have the coins. That is a way you can go ahead and get them. But let me know in the comment section down below, are you going to buy either of the life passes this month? Are you going to try and go through that Ultimate Store and go all the way and get yourself Wilt Chamberlain. Let me know all of that in the comment section down below. Of course, alongside this Life Pass for November, we have got Monthly Masters, and depending on what month you're watching this, those Monthly Masters might be slightly different. The whole structure of Monthly Master doesn't really change at all, and if you wanna know exactly how you can get yourself a free monthly master depending on what month you're in go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner i went through all the tips and tricks to help you out with that so go check out that video and i'll see you guys in that one peace